welcome to Reginald ESQ. I'm Underhook and this is my review supplement for the Tier 4 Italian medium tank, the P26-40. So why am I doing this supplemental review? So we can see here Aaron Rumpsa says to me, thanks for the video. I think you may want to review again using only HE as it has decent pen and 175 damage per penetrating shot. So I saw that, I thought, oh yeah, okay. Then I saw Gordon down here. Gordon McKinn says, 70 millimeters of HE pen, 175 damage is the good point about the gun. I started to think, I'll know. My most thumbs, thumbed down review ever was the Sherman Jumbo because I didn't use HE on it. And I said, eh, I didn't rate it. I said, the HE gun isn't that good. And everyone, well, I got a lot of thumbs down on that one. So I thought, to avoid that happening again, I've made this HE supplementary video and I've given it a go. So let's see how it went. So yeah, HE, huh? Who'd have thunk it? So what I'm doing, all I'm doing four games and all of them I'm using only HE. Now you can see at the moment we're in a tier five gun. There's five tier fives, the rest of the tier fours. There are one, two, three, four, five bots on each team. Um, nobody else seems to be going the same way as me, which is always unfortunate. So what I'm going to do in this gameplay is, even when I'm sure it's better to not use HE, I'm going to use HE. Uh, the way it works out, I think, really you can have great games in this tank if you use HE at the right time and then use your AP at the right time. I don't think you'll have really good, well, I don't think it's good to use just HE. Uh, I think a selection of both would work really well. And here's a reason why. That is the T-34S, a premium tank which uh, we got for completing missions or something or other a while ago. It's a T-34 that is shielded specifically against HE ammunition. And we will shoot that a bit later and you'll get to have a look at it. I'm going to speed this up a little bit actually to four times or something because I don't get to shoot it yet. Uh, I'll slide back down now. Here we go. Here we go. We, this is a DW2, Tier 4 Heavy. 151 damage, well that's better than the AP rounds, isn't it? I move back, so I'm a bit more covered by the bush here. Put another on, that one only does 15 damage. So we're hitting on a bit of an angle here. 64 damage there. Does have 50 mils of armor all around. This HE ammunition has 70 millimeters of penetration with 175 average damage. That one said not penetrated. I didn't think that was supposed to happen with HE ammo, but it sometimes does happen, that you kind of get a, a bounce or something, or maybe hit the gun, and so didn't actually splash into anything that would do damage. But anyway, we haven't done, we've done 255 damage to it. If I had have been using uh, the AP rounds with around 90 something mils of pen, I probably would have destroyed that tank uh, a lot quicker. But we did get one good hit on it. So that's probably one of the most heavily armored tier fours, 50 mils of armor all around. The Matilda has uh, better armor. That has 75 mils, but it's a bit patchy, so you never know. Here's a B1. That's a fairly heavily armored tank as well. It's also a tier four, only 19 damage. It does have, I think, spaced armor on the side uh, over the tracks. I think it's spaced, I'm not 100% sure, um, but that would explain the extremely low damage there. As you can see, my team's doing really badly, and we've lost a lot of tanks, I'm starting to get surrounded. That T-34S is a pretty good player, and he's put a shot into me uh, already, but I'm trying to go out and reset cap here. And don't expose too much of a tank, but then I, I don't want to miss, I want to aim low except the HE. T-34S just actually bounced one off the back of my tank somehow. M5 Stewart shoots from the side and also bounces, but you can see there we did 175, I think that was on that uh, 14 TP there. So that's a tank without much armor. Now you do give up a little bit of shell velocity with these shells. These um, HE shells have shell velocity, I think it's 535, uh, whereas our AP rounds have 650, we did 185 damage there. So definitely we destroyed that tank with two shots, it would have taken three shots with AP ammo. Going for the T-34 shielded here, and you can see here I'm not getting a good indicator. 38 damage. It, it has shielding, uh, I think, all around the front of the hull and all around the, the turret, except for the very front of the turret, as recollection would serve. It has, oh, it has shielding all down the sides, the side of the turret. I can't remember if the front of the tank is shielded or not, but it's very well shielded against HE anyway. So I'm going to show you the full of this game, then I'm going to show you, here we go. Now, obviously, 
We did 29 damage there. I would switch to AP normally here, but I made the sacrifice. I'm the last tank left in our team against, I think, 14 of their tanks. I mean, sorry, about uh, 10 of their tanks. But I wanted to um, just demonstrate the HE ammo. So I just keep fighting on here. Uh, so you can see we've proven there. Let's try, though, this much more like the Armored Stewart. He realizes I'm now aiming at him. I get one inside. 195. So obviously effective against uh, Tifa. Look at that. They all fired gold at me, both the T-34 and the M5 Stewart. Oh, my gosh. A tier 4. Really? Did you have to do that? Now, because that was a full game, I will show the stats. So we did a bit of spotting. Didn't get any spotting damage, though. And we actually finished on top for our team. That's how badly our team did. We did do over a thousand damage, though, a thousand and twenty something. So that's using only HE in a game with five tier fives in it. Uh, anyway, you saw what what sort of damage we did there and how how it worked. Uh, next screen, we fired twenty fourteen hit thirteen penetrated. So it says a uh, thousand and twenty eight damage. And yeah, you're not giving up too much shell velocity. Other than that, it has all the same stats as far as accuracy and aim time and all that goes, of course. So this time we're on Erlenberg. I'm just going to show you the parts where I'm actually doing damage. That, uh, I've got sort of two games worth of fighting against tanks. You can see the difference between hitting T4s and hitting T5s. Then I'll show you a game which is uh, my fourth game I played with HE only, and it was actually a mastery game. But it was a mastery game specifically because it was Tier 4s and Tier 3s. So basically my summation is it's not very good against tier 5s, but 4s and 3s go for it. So anyway, let's uh, I'll pause it now and I'll come back when I've got some action happening. Alright, we've got a DW2. We missed with that shot. Got my teammate spike. Show slow shell velocity, but the tank's not moving very quickly. 198, good shot into the side there. So when we've got 169, and at this range, actually, we're probably coming down on it as well. And we hit it again for 56. Not sure if we killed it. Then I think we might have killed it, actually. So, and you saw the last game, the DW2, we actually had a few problems with it. So it looks like when it's angled, it's not great. But when it's sort of flat onto you, you can do big damage to the DW2. Because at 50 mils of armor, it will penetrate if we hit it flush on. But we hit it on an angle, it's obviously just not penetrating. And so we're not getting that much damage against 50 mils of armor. The, this Chaffee doesn't pop out, unfortunately. Oh, he does for a second, but he goes away. And by the time I move back, he's gone. Anyway, I'll come back when there's some more action. So it's much later in the game now, and I'm not worried about winning the game. I'm just trying to test out the ammo. So I know there's a Panzer IV H here. I really want to try out the gun on it because it has spaced armor as well, which is actually, I believe, designed to stop... Uh, is it mag I think it's actually designed to stop magnetic uh, mines and stuff from going off or from damaging the tank, but there you go. So we missed the spaced armor and did 178. We hit the front of the turret. The armor on the Panzer IV H isn't that good. It's not bad. It's a tier 5 tank, but it does have uh, spaced skirts on the side and spaced uh, skirts around the sides of the turret, but not on the front of the turret. So, um, yeah, we hit the front of the turret there and we did all right. I'm going to actually just drive around him now and see if I can get it, hit him again and um, see how it goes. So he's actually not even, he's actually kind of oblivious to me here. Is he a bot or? So I aim for the back there. I tried to actually avoid the side plate, but I think I may actually have hit it. This time I'm going to hit directly into the side plate. Only 31 points. You can see that side plate uh, really makes a difference. This time I go for the front of the tank and we do 170. So obviously avoiding spaced armor is the big trick. This time, see, we went through the spaced armor again. I got 10 points. Big difference between 170 something and 10. That time I go into the front of him to finish him off. Uh, I think I get wasted now because there's a tank destroyer that pushes. Yeah. Okay. So we're on Siegfried line. It's a tier 5 game. I'm on top of the hill. Take a shot at the AMX and he moves just in time. That would have been interesting. Try and fight the ground. He's driving over, but I don't pick it very well. He's driving too fast, so this Covenanter isn't going very quick. Covenanter is a tier 4, I believe, and oh, he stops just in time. This guy's actually, is this guy a bot? Yes, he's a bot. 144 damage. So definitely worth hitting tier 4s, but, uh, you know, tier 5s, I reckon you're better off most of the time just using your AP ammo. Because 
the AP ammo does 110 damage is actually fairly decent anyway. It's not like it's bad damage. I'll come back when there's more action. Alright, E4, Sherman, and a Panzer, another Panzer 4H. Yeah, missed. Can't quite get good shots on these guys. I don't know why I can't see that guy. 55 on the Panzer 4H, so I think we hit the spaced armor there. Should I pop out for another shot? No, he's backed off. Oh, I can just make something out there. There it is. Didn't hit it. Ah! A, oh, there we go. A P2640 firing HE hit me. So that's the exact same tank as us, firing the exact same ammunition as us, hit me, and he did 168 damage to us. So more than he would have done with uh, AP. There we go. I get one into the side skirt again of that Panzer 4H, only doing 19 damage. Pretty much useless to hit that area. I'm, I know I'm about to die. I'm still staying with his ammunition because we want to test it out. 41 damage to the E4 there. Pretty much useless. You see these guys behind me, so I, think, uh, I just fire because I think I'm going to die before I can finish aiming. Uh, I actually clipped somebody and did about 22 damage with that last shot. Um, believe it or not, I think in the stats, but yeah. There you go. Okay, thank you for suffering along with me while we're trying to shoot tier 5s with HG ammo. This time, the fourth game that I played is a mastery game, so you can relax. Sit back and enjoy it. We'll show you the whole game. We are top tier this time. There are five uh, tier 4s on each team. All the rest are tier 3s. There are also seven bots on each side, so it makes it a little bit easier for us. Although sometimes they can be a trouble. Um, so, yeah. HE loaded in. Fight once again for all the games for testing. Firing nothing but HE to see how it works on different tanks. And uh, I don't want to drive up right up here because this thing isn't fast enough to uh, risk it up here. But I'm going to try and get one shot off on this T-80. 177 damage isn't too bad. So T80 is a tier 4 tank, but it's a, a light tank, I think. Not that well armored. Now we've got a Locust just here. Locust can be a dangerous tank. It's a tier 3 though. And 168 damage inside of him. He hits us for 35, and he's got a good rate of fire. We only did 42 damage on it. Should I think we his track? That one would go for the middle, we'll get 40. There's another Locust, and hit him in the back for 176. So I think this. Average damage on this when it fully penetrates is 175. So we're basically doing our full penetrating damage there. Now, I want to go after this Locust. I'm assuming he's going to pop out again. Can't see him, but I'm thinking he might be on the bush. I'll just take a shot. Got a BT-7 come up behind me now. Is he a player? Yeah, he is. Hmm. Okay, so the gun takes a bit longer than I wish to turn around, and I had trouble aiming. I didn't think he would have been able to shoot me there, because that rock uh, angling right in front of him, was, his gun was blocked by it, but he still got a shot off. So, Anyway, he's uh, spamming gold at me, like as if he even needs to fire gold, but anyway. So, yeah, although I suppose this thing does have a bit of armor. Maybe he's, yeah, okay. Anyway, I was waiting there, because I thought I'd probably blow him up if I hit him. Uh, but he didn't come out for, for that final shot to me fully aimed. But I don't want to sit out there unless I'm giving him my full attention. He obviously isn't a bad player and knows what he's doing. So if I sit right out in front of him uh, and then suddenly I turn my gun to look somewhere else or aim somewhere else, he will pop out and kill me because he's pretty clever. So I have to get in a position where I can look somewhere else without him popping out and killing me. I, I, I see though he looks as though he might be preoccupied now. With that, with that Type 91 over there. Yeah, Type 91 is going to hit. So I decide, okay, if you're preoccupied, I might be able to get close enough to you to get a hit. I turn my gun to the left just to make sure there's no one just parked there. And the, yeah, this guy is shooting Type 91. Hopefully, uh, he probably will proximity spot, this short, spot me shortly. Hopefully he doesn't notice it in time. Now he did notice it. Oh, we only did 36 damage. That time we finish him off, doing about 34 damage or something, but you can see there we nearly died because uh, the HE just didn't do much against him. We've got a T-80 over here, longer range, boom, 41, is that all? Oh, hit his track, I think. He is tracked, maybe hit the track. Did that hit? Don't know. I aim a little bit lower uh, because I don't want the horizon to make my shell go too high, and that time we get the killing shot. 
Let's have a go at Artie here. I just fire because I think he's going to die in a second and I'm too late with that shot. I'm going really slow. Uh, at this point I realize my engine has been damaged so I use the uh, small repair kit and repair my engine. We actually bounced an APC R round off that T80 there. Looking at the uh, stats there. So I can see there's a bunch of tanks over there. I figure there's probably nothing on cap because we did spot the RD and I can see our BT-7 down near there end of the map. So I'm just trying to look and see if there's anyone trying to shoot me you know, who's poking through bushes or anything up here. I'm just going to speed this up a little bit because it's a little bit boring me just making a decision where I'm going to go. I now make a decision to move up to this point here because I figure, well, if there's lots of tanks around here, they're probably going to come around this end pretty soon. And there we go. There's a Panzer 3J there. He's behind the hill at the moment, but looks like he's going to come out. I, I thought he was going to keep coming and I fired, but he didn't come out any further. Now he's backed off, but there's a Cruiser 4 there. 227. Oh no, that was someone else included. We did 180, which is still pretty good. There's a Marta 2. It should just, yeah. I was going to say, he should just explode. 165. Now, the B1. We had trouble with B1s with this HE. There you go. Only 5 damage. So, this is a tank I definitely would use. Um, we did 179 on, on that other shot, though. But I would definitely use AP on that tank. It's just too risky. If it slightly angles, you do almost nothing. So, better to stick with 110. Because the AP gun isn't bad anyway. 110 damage is pretty good. So, I, I really would just say... Tier 4s, with the exception of B1s, a DW2 is kind of iffy, whether you want to bother with HE or just use AP. Like, sometimes it's better, sometimes it's worse. I imagine a Matilda would be the same. Sometimes it would be better, sometimes it would be worse. It's just going to depend on the angle, which you probably won't get to decide on. So I think I'd probably just use AP to, to make sure. Uh, but a lot of these sort of light tanks and stuff, yeah, sure, HE is fine. And, and the other thing, I would just exclude Tier 5s just as a general rule, um, because they'll be similar. They'll be sort of, you know, sometimes you do big damage, sometimes you do almost nothing. You know. So we're at a Type 91 here. Now, Type 91s are very soft, from my recollection. It's like, it's supposedly a heavy tank, but it's got light tank armor. Now, I was hoping it was, I started aiming, because so he was going to come out, so I wanted to be fully aimed when he came out, but uh, he halted, so I'm just going to go after him. He could probably kill me with one shot. I think, how many hit points I've got left? I've only got 30, no, hang on. I've got 48 hit points left. He can probably one shot me. Um, and he will proximity spot me surely. Artie's already smashed him, so I'm not gonna get much for getting the kill here. But, I, no, oh, he's facing the wrong way. Was he a bot? I think he, yeah, he was a bot. Cause he was just had the back sticking out there, which was really stupid. Um, and players, even silly players aren't that silly. So I'm just popping over to Ridge here to see if there's anyone at the Ridge. There's no one there, so I think I'll continue on the way. He must be around here somewhere. There is another Type 91. And 107 damage. Well, we would have done 110 with AP anyway, but I think you can pretty much use HE on those things. There you go. So for my supplementary review, I feel quite comfortable in saying, yes, use a mixture of HE and AP ammo. I definitely wouldn't use only HE. And uh, now that I've tried the HE, I definitely wouldn't use only AP anymore either. I would definitely use a mix of them, and you can probably have some pretty beastly games if you do. So being a Tier 4 or Tier 3 game, of course, the HE did really well here. We've got Mastery, Top Gun, and High Calibre, and obviously finished topping our team with 1,168, I think it is, XP, doing 1,678 damage. I do bear in mind that I think the Mastery game I have with the AP, I did 2,000 or something damage, so, um, you know... It was a really good game, and but I think it was a mixture. We would have done better than this if I you know, fired um, AP at certain times, but I really just wanted to test the AP ammunition. So, uh, HE ammunition. So 19 shots fired, 17 hit. All 17 penetrated, apparently, but they didn't because we know, you know some of them did really low damage, which obviously they didn't penetrate. So I don't really know how they work that with HE ammo. Um, they did damage, I guess. Total damage, 1678, uh, 453 was from longer range, 7 hits received, 6 penetrations, and let's see, we blocked 55, so we didn't block much, mainly because people are spamming gold at us at tier 4. <laughs> uh, enemy vehicle spotted, 2, we damaged 9, destroying 6, 
and uh, got a bit of assistance damage there, 327. And that is one thing about the HE, you probably get a bit more assistance damage because the number of track uh, tanks that you track, uh, that we track with it. So yeah, income 23, 18 profit uh, without premium. So yeah, it's like not bad. There you go. Um, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more reviews and uh, review supplementaries because I don't review tanks properly, then please subscribe to Reginald ESQ and uh, have fun.